Hi, I'm Tick Cross, and this is my vehicle, the Electra. You know, the idea started about 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, I was working as a courier downtown in Vancouver, and I saw all these people, as a bike courier, I saw all these people running on their lunch breaks, and I thought, well, that's kind of ridiculous. Why don't they just ride their bikes to work? Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking, well, if they rode their bikes to work, they couldn't be wearing a suit, and they'd get all dirty and grimy, and they might get to work having worked too hard. And so I thought, wouldn't it be great? If a person could just easily coast into work on their bike, just kind of gently spinning like the same exercise they had to walking, and then on the way home, they can pedal as hard as they want it and get all the exercise they want. Yeah. And so that was kind of the idea of one of the central concepts of the Electrum, which is the generator drive. The way that the Electrum works is when you pedal, your energy is split here at this hub. Part of it goes forward to an onboard generator, and it goes back to the back wheel via this chain. As soon as you're over about 10 kilometers per hour, that back wheel is freewheeling, and all of your riding energy is just going into the generator. So you're chipping in your 150 watts into the system. Um, but the nice thing is you don't have to shift any gear, so it's like an automatic transmission for a bike. I just pedal at a constant cadence all the time. This is the what I'd say is the final prototype. I built this by hand over the last well, actually, I've been riding it in this format for two and a half years, and I've got almost 6,000 kilometers on it. The frame is made of, I kind of borrowed a page from World War II aircraft building techniques. Dad was right when he said there was a chip off. Oh, yeah. Well, my son Tig is a, is a bicycle fool. Oh, he's pretty much a chip off the old block. He can't resist building things. So we've got our turn signals. Got our turn signals left and right. We have a horn, which is currently not connected because I was showing to some school kids and they love the horn too much. Okay. And then this would be a light switch, but I decided for safety, the lights would just always be on, so I don't turn them on. Okay, cool. And then, and this then is on this throttle. side, we basically, it's very simple. We just have the throttle. Turn for go, hit the brakes to stop, that's it. We have an onboard cargo storage with lots and lots of space. So this is, is the passenger compartment. Once you clear all your junk out, then a passenger can sit in there. Let me just take it off the stand and get one of you guys to sit there. So I'll get to the one of the nice things about it too is this roll off the stand. Okay, who wants to ride? Hop in. You're free. Okay. So you you can't move. You have to sit super still. Okay. Part of my philosophy in designing this vehicle was that I wanted to use as many off-the-shelf components as possible so that uh, in the future anyone who wants to can modify or upgrade the vehicle and kind of treat the vehicle like the platform. It happens to fit the legal definition of a bicycle so uh, you get all those benefits. You're a vehicle traffic, you get to park on the sidewalk, you get automatic loading on all the ferries, uh, you know, and the list goes on.